All right, so I'm gonna welcome myself back. It's been nine days since I've posted a free video here on YouTube. Um, as most of you guys that follow the Instagram know, pretty much the whole office was sick. Um, I did a video last uh, July 30th, last Saturday. I haven't done a video on YouTube since, and I am back now, ready to go. Since those, um, since the last YouTube video, however, I did have two big ticket Teddy plays that were both winners on the Instagram story. So for those of you YouTube guys that don't follow the Instagram, go over to the Instagram sports profits underscore, make sure you give us a follow because you will get games on there that you won't get here on the YouTube. And guys, as far as um, the YouTube goes, since it's been so long, I'm coming right back with the Prez game. So for new clients only, text Prez to the number right here, Text Prez to the number above, P-R-E-Z to the number above, and get yourself a very nice presidential game sent to you directly from one of our in-office consultants. Let's dig right into it. We only have five games today, um, so there wasn't really much to choose from, but I knew that I had to deliver something for you guys today. We're sitting at 59% on these YouTube plays. We're sitting above 60% on the big ticket Teddy plays, 11 and 5 on those. So let's dig right into it. The Yankees' offensive struggles are continuing. Um, they acquired Rizzo in an attempt to really boost their batting average, but Rizzo is now on the COVID list. So Teddy Brooks comes off the COVID list. Rizzo goes on the COVID list. That's how it works, I guess. Gary Sanchez, Jordan Montgomery, Garrett Cole, um, just... Not a very good um, situation right now for the Yankees in that regard, but they're coming off of a 2 nothing loss where they were shut out by the Mariners, and they're in playoff contention. So they have a lot to play for, and they have pitching behind them. Tonight, Jamison Tyon is taking the mound. He's 7-4 and four on the year, 1.21 whip, 4.0 ERA, 107 innings pitched. Guys, listen, don't count them out. The Royals have huge offensive woes, okay? They're only putting up 4.1 run per, runs per game, slightly behind the Yankees. Both teams, obviously, in the bottom half of the league statistically when it comes to hitting, but the Yankee, the Royals pitching, trash, um, allowing 4.9 runs per game, better than just seven teams in the major leagues. Carlos Hernandez is getting the call tonight. He has a 3-1 record, 39 innings pitch, 4.58 ERA, the Royals are coming off a 6-5 to five victory against the Cardinals. Um, it was a two-hour rain delay. They were able to get the win. The Yanks' away record and the Royals' home record virtually identical. Identical. All right? Um, so we don't really look at a home field advantage here for the Royals in Kansas City. So, you know, the Yankees, like we said, they've had their fair share of running issues, but they're not out of contention yet, and they have a lot to play for, and they're pitching mound is is where it's at this time of year when you see a line like this on a game like this it says something okay the Yankees are not playing that good and they're still big time favorites on this one we're gonna go ahead and take the Yankees minus 170 it's a little juicy but the options are low today and we think it's a little bit of a fishy line we're going with the Yankees baby and like I said guys remember text Prez to the number above because we know it's been like a week without a video um, so you haven't had the Prez opportunity. So it's for new clients only, but take advantage if you want to try it out. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more MLB Baseball.